This video is published by MPKP International. Um, we're making this video because we had a customer that um, called in, so they had absolutely no power on their machine. Um, in this case, we got power on this machine, and the way you can tell is obviously the machine's on. But the main thing is, what I asked the customer is if they even have this light on, this power light, um, which on this machine you can clearly see it's on right there. It's uh, illuminated there. He said that that wasn't on either. So when you have a case like that, you have a total power, power failure. It's it's There's only a small circuit that could be causing that on this machine. And I'm gonna kinda show that to you. And I'll show you how to do the test for that. This would essentially be the test for the circuit for the, for the machine. Basically, it's just a, a loop here, and then you had to have 120 volts after these switches were made going out to the machine, 120 volts to the machine, and then this is this little light right here represents this light right here. Um, once all these switches are made, um, this light will automatically come on. It doesn't matter what the rest of the machine is doing. If so, if you have both failing, you obviously have you don't have 120 volts to this point getting to this point right here which means it could only be one of these switches or the wires in between. That's, that's all it could be. Or it could also be the power to your home um, or your office, wherever you're plugging in and out. So the first thing to do is you should just check to make sure you have power going up to your outlet. Make sure you do have 120 volts there. If you do, we're gonna go ahead and check this switch first, which is the circuit breaker in the back. And then the second thing we'll check would be the emergency off switch, which is right over here. And then the third thing we're going to check is the key switch, which is this switch right here. If um, at some point we're going to find out if we don't have voltage to one of these spots here, but um, we'll go through the process here. So hopefully you can see that in the video. It's just a small circuit there. I'll put that up here. And you see this machine's on right now. I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to turn off all these switches first. And I'm going to unplug it too. I'm going to shut this switch off. And I'm going to shut off the emergency, so I'm going to pop the emergency in, so that's off as well. So all of our switches are shut off. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it too. And the reason why I'm going to unplug it is I'm going to actually move the emergency switch to an easier place for me to take a reading because it's really hard to get back here um, when you're trying to do a voltage reading. So you just unscrew it counterclockwise. And that's the switch uh, head right there. And I'm going to take off this little coupling right here counterclockwise as well. Comes off real simple. Then I can pull the switch out, and you see the wires on e either side of it. I'm going to go ahead and put the red knob back on to make it easier for me to work with it. It just goes on clockwise, and if you keep on turning it, it snaps back out. Now it's in the on position. When I push it in, it's in the off position. Okay, so basically on one side you'd have, now that's off. Basically, we're just going to make sure it does work. you got power on one side, once in the off position, no power on the other side. So I'm gonna set it in here, and I'm gonna just put it in the machine in, a, in such a way so it's, none of these are touching metal anywhere so it doesn't short out, and I'm only doing this to make it easier for me to do my reading. That's the only reason I'm doing this. So now let's go ahead and go through the process of, of testing different things here. Now what we're gonna do is, obviously, first thing you'd wanna do is get a voltage meter. And I got a fluke meter here, and I'm gonna put on a voltage check here. This is AC voltage. Um, I already know I got voltage here. This is just power coming in from the office here. Um, I know I got power here. You could check it, just to double check. You just put one uh, black lead here, red lead here, see if you got voltage. I'm not gonna do that because I already got my black lead set up over here and you're gonna check it anyways. I'm plug that in right there and you can see where it comes in. The wiring comes in from this side and you have the two wires come up and they both go on one side of the circuit breaker. Then you have wires going out to the rest of the machine over there. And the way I'm going to test to make sure I have power up to that point is I'm just going to put the black lead here, red lead here, and then go look at my voltage, and I got 120 volts there. Okay. So I know I got power up to the machine at least. I'm going to try to wedge this black one in here so it doesn't come out. Let's see if I can do it on. Let me double check, make sure I still got voltage there, which I don't. Okay, I got my 120 volts there. So now I'm just gonna leave the black one in, in place over here and I'll take the red lead with me to the other parts of the machine. Now, what I'm gonna do here first is I'm gonna turn this switch on, okay? Actually, well, we can turn it on, not, not a problem. And I'm gonna go to the emergency stop button and see if I got 120 volts up to the emergency stop button. Um, which, on one side I'll have it, one side I won't have it because it's in the opposition, remember. So I'll check this side first, I got nothing. 
check this side here first. I have 120 volts. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the switch off in the back, the circuit breaker in the back, to make sure that is working. When I shut that off, this 120 volts will go away. So I'll just set that there and I'll reach around over here. And it went away. I'll turn it back on. And it came back. So that proves that the circuit breaker in the back is working correctly. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, just because I have to stick my hand in there and I don't want to handle that with, um, with electricity on it, I'm going to unplug the machine, I'm going to shut it off, and I'm going to unplug it just to take the voltage off completely. Now I'm going to come over here and I want to make sure I'm going to get voltage over here after I turn it on because before it didn't have voltage over here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on by turning it um, clockwise. It pops out, it's in the on position now. And now I'll go put voltage back on just to double check it. Do this, turn it on, and we should have power on both sides of the switch now. Which we do, 120 volts there, and 120 volts on the other side as well. So that proves that the emergency stop button is working. Okay, now we're going to go to this key switch right here. Okay, and we're going to check it on both sides because now that the emergency stop button is in the on position, the key switch should have 120 volts on one side and nothing on the other side. So if I check here, I got nothing there, but if I go underneath it on the other side of the switch, you see I got 120 volts there. And the machine and the power switch is off. So now I want to see if I'm gonna get power to this side now, which I have zero there. I'm gonna turn the key on. And power just went on, you see the machine went on. The main thing I was looking for just for total power failure is to see if that light goes on. In this case it does, but if it never goes on in this case, obviously it's one of these switches. And this is a simple check, how you could check it just to make sure that you can find out what switch is actually causing your problem. Again, this video is published by MPKP International.